Okay, it's 10 to, 10 to 10 and I'm live here at the Ring of Steel Sky Race. Um, it's really, really exciting. There's a really, really good lineup. There's Killian Jornet, there's Stian Angamon Vic, who is the course record holder uh, from last race he ran it in three hours and 24 minutes and uh, um, on the women's women's side there's Laura Orge as well she is the course record holder from last year too she ran it in four hours and five minutes um, absolutely incredible um, uh, she, Sheila Avales is here as well she came second last year and um, yeah it's just an absolutely stellar lineup so I'm gonna turn the camera around now and show you who's there and give you a little bit more information so here are the crowds here. So the, the guys are going to go this way, um, up, up the valley. And then they're going to climb up to the first Munro top, which is Anne Louvier. Then they're going to go across the Devil's Ridge, which is a scrambling ridge. And then they'll go up the first Munro. And then there's uh, all the way down to the valley, valley floor. And then they'll be crossing the Glen Nevis River. And after that, they'll be climbing three more Munros in this 29 kilometer course with 2,500 meters of ascent. So, so everybody's just getting ready here. I can see, uh, I just caught sight of Dakota Jones from the Salomon team in the background there, and Stian was just in front of him at that time. He's hiding, I think, in the middle. I can see Alexi Seveny. And it's a beautiful day here in Kinloch Leven outside the Ice Factor. It's quite cool, about 10 degrees Celsius. Not very much wind. It's a bit damp underfoot. It is very damp underfoot, but this is going to be a nice day. The sun's out and it's not raining. So for Scotland, that is a wonderful thing. So we've got a big screen here for everybody to watch the race here in Kinloch Leven at the Ice Factor. We've just got eight minutes now till the start of the race. So I'd just like to at this point say a big thank you to my sponsor, Ellis Brigham. They've got a stand just over here, just past the Salomon stand there. And so they are sponsoring me to be here. So they uh, are an outdoor and trail running shop. They've just got a new trail running range. It's online and in it's, it's in 24 stores nationwide as well. So that's www.ls.brigham.com slash activities slash run. So check them out. The prize presentation happens at 5 p.m. So if anyone's the prize presentation on the main stage of the Okay, so this race is obviously the fifth in the Golden Trail series. 29 kilometers, 2,500 meters of ascent, with views of Ben Nevis from the Memoirs and sections of easy scrambling across the Devil's Ridge, crossing four Memoirs Munros. So if you don't know what Munros are, they are Scottish mountains over 3,000 foot or 914 meters. So I've just took, saw, seen um, Tom Evans there from the British team. Give us a wave there. There he is on the start line. I uh, can't see Killian Jornet, but I have seen Stian. He's, can you see Dakota Jones as well? I can see Dakota in the background. Yeah, so so Stian, he has the course record here at Ring of Steel Sky Race. That's three hours, 24 minutes and 51 seconds. And now we've got the Piper. I'll just come away a bit so I can give you some more info. <laughs> so Stian Angermundvik is, uh, is a, a hot favorite for the race. So he's got the course record here at Ring of Steel Skyline at three hours, 24 mi minutes and 51 seconds. 
will that be better today? So he came second in Zagama, he was third at Chamonix, fourth at Pikes Peak, and he's actually first in the Golden Trail series right now. So after this race, we will know who is in the top 10 for the grand finale at the Otter Trail in South Africa. So the Golden Trail series, it was five races. So this is the fifth, it's the final one. So there was Zagama, there was the Mont Blanc Marathon, there was Sierra Zanal, and there was Pikes Peak. And there's a 100,000 euro prize, prize pool and it's shared equally with um, the overall top 10 men and women. So that's 5,000 euros each if they get to go to the Otter Trail, if they win, if they get in the top 10 of the Golden Trail series. So that's about 4,500 pounds or about $6,000. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Hi, Brian. <laughs> Hello. This is Brian from Iron Far here, doing an excellent job. The guys at Iron Far, they do brilliant race interviews. I'm sure everybody watching here already knows Iron Far, but they do brilliant race interviews with all the elite athletes pre and post race. So check out their website and their podcast for all of the elite athlete interviews. So lining up for the men, we've just got four minutes left, so I'll just take you through who were the men that are running. So as well as uh, uh, Killian is apparently running, but I can't see him anywhere. But we've got... Can you... Is Killian running? He's here. He's here. Okay, I just can't see him. Yeah. But is he running today? He should be. Yeah. Okay, so Killian is running. We just can't see him at the moment. He's just hiding. Yeah, he's doing the double, apparently. He's going to do today's race and tomorrow's race. So. As well in the men, so we've got Stian Angermanvik, also from Team Salomon. We've got Aritza Gia from Salomon. He's third currently in the Golden Trail series. We've got Mark Lornstein from Switzerland. He's fourth in the Golden Trail series. But he's, he's got, he had a bit of, foot, of a foot injury. He's not raced since the Mont Blanc Marathon. Um, but he did come fourth in Zagama and second at uh, the Mont Blanc Marathon. So, um, yeah, so he is a big contender there. Then we've got Oriol cardona Cole. Uh, he's sixth in the Golden Trail series. He's team Dina Fit and he came second at Pikes Peak. Then we've got Sage Kennedy. I have seen Sage somewhere this morning, but I can't see him just now on the start line. Um, he came sixth at Pikes Peak and he's ninth currently in the Golden Trail series. As Lexi Seveny from Scott, Robert Kapritschka, Pascal Egli as well. He came actually second last year, did Pascal, with a time of three hours and 26 minutes so he's one to watch the women's field is really really exciting i just want to take you through the women's field so um ruth cross is first in the golden trail series she's not here but we do have here laura orge who's fourth in the golden trail series she holds the course records here at the ring of steel race it's four hours and five minutes and 12 seconds she she came 18th overall last year which was absolutely fantastic first lady um and i just want to mention a few of the brits here we've got victoria wilk here today and she is absolutely incredible I've, I know Vic a bit she, I've interviewed Vic a couple of times we've got one minute okay so I've interviewed Vic a couple of times on this channel she absolutely smashed the Ben Nevis uh, ladies race course record um, a few months ago um, and she was the 2017 British fell running champ <laughs> and there's Holly Page Annie Conway's running um, and Ellie Gordon's running, Megan McKenzie, Sheila Avales, she came second last year and she was 19th lady. Yep, gonna. <laughs> oh, I've just been mentioned to move out the way by Mark <laughs> Ward. We're gonna get moaned down, aren't we, Brian? <laughs> as long as we're off the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay flush against the fence. Yep, stay flush. I'll hook my backpack on the other side of the fence, how about that? So yeah, we've got oh, Celine Le Fay as well from Merrill. We've got Emily Schmitz. We've got Maya Chole as well. Um, yeah, there's a, a real stellar ladies field here. And I'm really excited to see what Vic Wilkinson can do on this course, seeing as she just annihilated the Ben Nevis record. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one.
29 kilometers with 2,500 meters of ascent. And they are off into the mountains. So we have three hours and 24, woo, a bit of a, a, bit of a log jam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye, Amiko. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a course record of three hours and 24 minutes to beat here today at the Ring of Steel Sky Race. Will it be broken? Will Stian Angerman Vic better his personal best and course record on this course? Or will Killian Dornay or one of the other top men in the stellar field, will one of the other men take the title? It's everything to play for today. And the women's course record, Will Laura Orge defend her women's title? Or will one of the other ladies from this stacked force, will Vic Wilkinson pull it out of the bag for the umpteenth time this year? I'm just gonna follow follow the course for a bit. So, so they basically, I've done this race in 2016 um, and you can watch the film elsewhere on my YouTube channel. And uh, you run along this road for a bit and then you go into the forest it's a, the first and last bits of the course are the same. And then the climb starts. <laughs> I can't even keep up. I've got a huge bag of camera gear on, so I can't even keep up with them. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Lots of people cheering. This race is huge. Do you know what though? They're all going to slow down because there's a bottleneck soon. So I'm just going to stay with them and show you a bit of the course. Because I can't really go away from the Ice Factor uh, event centre in Kinloch Leven because the, there might be a new course record here at the Ring of Steel Skyrise today. So I cannot miss the finish. And I don't know, maybe they'll get around in three hours. Oh, I need to swap hands. Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the course whilst I run along. So the Ring of Steel is a classic walking route over four Munros. But usually it started from Glen Nevis, which is on the other side of these mountains. So this starts from Kinloch Leven. It goes up. and Lubert to start. So that's quite a testing climb. Quite a scree, steep, and then you get to this amazing ridge. It's called the Devil's Ridge, and it's a lovely scramble. I really enjoyed it when I did it the other year. And uh, then, after that scramble, they get to the first Munro. Scaramame, and that's the highest on the course. It's 1,099 meters high. And then, <laughs> after getting, gaining all that height, you plummet, you literally plummet, down to the valley to Glen Nevis, to a checkpoint there where there's food. And then you go along the Glen Nevis, along the River Nevis, And then you'll reach Ansdell Waterfall, which is where they filmed Harry Potter. Hello! <laughs> I'm just doing a live YouTube broadcast. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so then, then you have to climb all the way back up again. Ah, see, here, I told you there was a bottleneck. I knew we'd catch up. 
There's no point sprinting this first bit unless you're an elite athlete. So, uh, yeah, so then they go back up and Garanik. Then Stob Courier turn, then Ambodok, which is the second half. Hey, hello! Hello! Yeah, good thanks. Uh, right, so this is the West Highland Way, and they start off going along this path through the woods. Look, Fort William by the la by the Larrig. Okay. Um, so the final Munro everyone will go over today is the is Ambodak at 1,032 meters. So that's the second highest. So look, these trails are quite uh, relatively muddy, like for the UK, this is not muddy. And there's uh, little streams to cross. And, oh, it's just beautiful. People nipping up off to the loo already. <laughs> so funny. Why do men never go to the loo before a race? <laughs> um, yeah, so, it's just a, it's a nice day out really, isn't it? Look, there's lots of, uh, I remember trying to run at this stage and just failing because there were so many people. Uh, I'll just try and get ahead of a few people so that I can film them going past so you can see, get a bit of a flavour of the race. 29 kilometres this race is. And uh, I've got waterproof shoes on, yay. Yeah. I'm not racing, <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> Yeah, so 29 kilometers today's race with 2,500 meters of ascent. And everybody's got a tracker on. Can you see, just hear this orange thing on people's backpacks? That's a tracker, so we can watch how everybody is doing on the big screen down at the ice factory in Not Leaven. So this is a really, really well organized race. This is only the third edition of the Ring of Seal Sky Race. Uh, so I did the first one in 2016. You can see a video of that elsewhere on my channel. If you just type in Ring of Steel Sky Race Guide, it should pop up in Google. And look at this, what a beautiful day. This is ideal conditions for British fell runners today. It's not too windy, it's not raining, a bit muddy underfoot, and um, not too hot, basically. <laughs> hey, <laughs> enjoy the race. Okay, let's turn the camera around. And now let's just get up here, because I know it opens out a bit at the top. Oh, that is a good way to secure poles. Okay, so we've got Joe Gill here saying he's definitely doing this race next year. Definitely Joe, give it a go. It's an awesome race. Really, really good race. Right, I'm gonna stop up here because there's a little bit, hello. And I'm just gonna do a bit of a film of everybody coming past. Wave to the camera. Well done, have a great day. Have a good day. Oh, there's a bit of a log jam here. So if you are one of the faster runners, you definitely wanna be at the front because uh, during this race, because uh, then you can avoid a log jam, but if you just want to take it easy, like me, <laughs> then uh, then you need to be at the back. Hey, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> it's very British, isn't it? A queue. <laughs> No, 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 Thank mm -hmm.
<laughs> I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I'm. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Good. Yeah, good. Have you done this race before? No, I haven't. No. Yeah. No. Enjoy. I'll it's really good. Channel, oh, you're on it now. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen you on it. On it. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Hi, nice hey. to meet you. Oh, hey, hey. How are you doing? It's Hi. good. This bit, isn't it? Nice pace. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks, Anna. I do actually have a gimbal, but I can't use the gimbal whilst I'm charging my phone and I'm running out of phone charge, so I'm not using the gimbal. Oh, I love that hat. I really want one like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'll attach it to the gimbal then for the next broadcast. <laughs> so I'm just talking to some people off on the broadcast. <laughs> Do you like the weather today then, guys? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they won't follow you to the tops, I don't think. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hello, hello. Hi there, hello. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the race today? <laughs> yeah, once it gets going? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, th I think maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, run a thousand miles, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hey, well done everybody. Have a great race today. Good work. We just keep this pace up all the way around, then you'll be fine. Well done everybody. Hey. And here we have the back markers. Right, okay. Right. So here I am in the middle of a forest. Um, the runners have just all gone off behind me and uh, they're going to run up the four Munros that make up the Ring of Steel Sky Race. So I'm just going to head back down. Are you alright? Yes. You're starting? No. no oh. No. We're not, we're not feeling good? No, no. We are... It's a lot of people. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're just waiting. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check you were alright. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, I'm just uh, checking that most people are okay. Uh, yeah, so yes, it's 29 kilometers, 2,500 meters of ascent, and it's the fifth in the global, the global, the Golden Trail series uh, that are organised by Salomon. So, um, so, so yeah, the race has started, and I am now going to be back down um, at Kinloch Leven Ice Factor to get the finish. So we've got Killian and Stian and Dakota and countless other top yeah. athletes for the men. And we've got Laura Orge, we've got Vic Wilkinson, we've got Sheila Aviles, uh, and countless other top lady athletes. So I'm gonna go back to the ice factor because I do not wanna miss a thing. So join me, the course record is three hours 24. So I don't know it's a good day for it but it is still slippy and it is still wet underfoot so um, I think from th from three hours so from one o'clock I'm gonna be I'm gonna be standing there on this on the finish line so I'll be watching the trackers and I'll try to get uh, coverage of the finish uh, I'll probably start sort of when we think they're kind of ten minutes away so join me around one ish for more coverage of the Ring of Steel Sky Race and just want to say a big thank you to Ellis Brigham for powering this broadcast and the subsequent films that I'm going to produce from this race. I'm going to be gathering tips on downhill running from all the elite athletes so watch out for a film on my channel about downhill running uh, in a week or so's time after this race. Um, so thanks to Ellis Brigham, they've got 24 stores worldwide and they've also got a pop-up stand here at the Ring of Steel Sky Race and the Skyline Scotland event. So check them out. I think somebody's told me that they've got some really good deals on this weekend. So, so go check them out. And they've got a new trail running range, so that's very good. And I do like Ellis Brigham because um, you go into their store and people know exactly what they're talking about. So it's a very, very high quality running and outdoor shop. So go and check them out, Ellis Brigham. Uh, ls.brigham.com so thank you very much for watching um, I'm Claire Backstead um, I'm the owner uh, of Wild Ginger Films so do subscribe if you've enjoyed this uh, off-the-cuff uh, race broadcast and uh, I will see you 
later at 1pm. Okay, bye for now.